Hi, I'm Jen Lawler Nielsen with JB Soccer, and I'm very excited to be able to show you some um, training techniques. Um, we're going to be working a little bit on some juggling um, for the intermediate, for the advanced, and for the beginner. We're going to be working on the beginner um, first. The first thing that it is that I want you to be able to know is that if you want to become better, all it does is it takes your ball in a small little area of space. You can maybe do it in your backyard, in your house if your parents let you, um, at a park maybe before practice. So the first thing with beginner is juggling. Is you want to concentrate on your first touch. Making sure that your toe is pointed straight out. So it's just a pop and a catch. A pop and a catch. If you are getting some backspin to your ball, it's making it harder for you to be able to juggle. Make sure your point, toe is pointed straight out and you're getting just a nice little pop. And the ball is being caught right in front of you. So you are controlling the ball. When you are getting better and you're being able to catch the ball, I'm definitely gonna um, stress you a little bit and see if you can do one, two, and catch. Left, right, catch, or right, left, catch. You move to that once you are beginning to be able to catch it and catch it about 10 times. And then you're gonna move to um, foot, foot, and catch. The next one for beginners is gonna be using your thigh. Making sure that your thigh is gonna be parallel, hitting it right in the middle. Pop and catch, pop and catch. When you're bringing your thigh up, you definitely want to add a little pop up and an arc. If your ball is coming back into you and you're catching it close to your face or back into you, it's because you're putting your thigh a little bit up um, too high. Definitely want to keep it a little bit parallel. Thigh and catch. When you're successful, move to the other thigh. So you have thigh and catch. You notice my feet. I'm on my toes in between. When this is becoming easy, then you can go thigh, thigh, and catch. Thigh, thigh, and catch. Alternate your feet, getting a nice little pop up off of your thigh. Next, we're gonna go to our head. Biggest thing with your head is that you wanna keep your legs a little bit apart, bend your knees, athletic stance. You're gonna to toss your, the ball up, and you're gonna put your, your chin up a little bit so you're hitting the ball right on your hairline. Pop and catch, pop and catch. Hitting it right here. So that you have a nice little arc, so you can, if you wanna do two juggles, you can be able to do two. So it's pop, pop, and catch. Pop, pop, and catch. If your ball is traveling around, you're not ready to go to the next step, making sure that you're being able to catch the ball right in front of you. I also have another series of balls. Um, if you have a child that's maybe between the ages of three to five years old, an easy way for them to get them started is by getting a little beach ball. It's nice and soft, it's able to move, and it doesn't hurt if you're trying to use some of the same steps. So the foot is always the hardest. They can still try to practice doing this, but it's gonna be much easier if you practice the thigh because it's a bigger surface. Thigh and catch, alternating your thighs. When you're doing your head, making sure that they are kind of getting a nice little toss. Even if they just put the ball right here just to get used to it, and you're getting a nice little head toss in there. Now we're moving to the intermediate level. This one is making sure that it's still doing the juggling, but you're gonna be adding a bounce after each and every touch. So it'll be juggle and a bounce, juggle and a bounce, juggle and a bounce. Right now, I'm just using my most dominant foot. Juggle and a bounce. If you notice, I am happy on my feet. I'm light on my toes, being able, if the ball ends up moving somewhere, I'm being able to move. When you're doing the juggle bounce, stay on one foot. When you're getting good, and I'm saying good is about maybe seeing success about 10 times in a row, then you're gonna look to alternate it. So pop and catch. If you're working on your first touch, working on quick little feet, and you're also working on the distance of where you are juggling the ball. Next, we're gonna to move to foot and thigh. So you're gonna do foot, a thigh, and a bounce. Stay on one side right now. So it goes foot, thigh, bounce. Foot, thigh, bounce. Foot, thigh, and a bounce. The relationship between your foot and the ball and your body is most important. Each touch builds on itself. So from going to foot thigh, when you're getting better, then you can go to foot thigh and you can alternate your feet. Last one for the intermediate is gonna be foot thigh head and bounce. One, two, three, and bounce. One, two, three, and bounce. One, two, three, and bounce. If you notice on this one, the head touch. It has to be up and out because your next touch is on your foot. So again, as I said before, each touch builds on itself. One, two, up and out and bounce. One, two, up and out and bounce.
Now we are moving to the advanced version of juggling. No bounce, foot, thigh, head, and we're gonna go to a catch. So it goes one, two, three, and catch. Successful, about 10 times. Move to foot, thigh, head, foot, thigh, head, and catch. One, two, three, one, two, three. As you can see, that wasn't successful. So I gotta go back to foot, thigh, head, and catch. Success, foot, thigh, head, two times. One, two, three, one, two, three, and catch. When you're being able to do that, I like playing a little game. You do foot, thigh, head, catch. Foot, thigh, head, head, catch. Foot, thigh, head, 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 catch. And then you're working yourself back down. So it goes foot, thigh, head. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. One, two, one, two, three. Back down to two. One, two head, foot, thigh, head, and a catch. So you end up doing like a little pyramid moving yourself up to three headers and moving yourself back down. I want to say thank you for watching um, this little skills demonstration. Um, if you guys ever have any questions, you can um, either email us or go to our website, www.jbsoccertraining.com. We can answer any questions it is, and you can also go on our website. And if you have any um, inquiries about soccer sessions, we have skills DVDs, which has some of these on there, or some other things, new things on there. You can always purchase it online as well. So I want to say thank you and looking forward to see you on the soccer field.